everyone, it's Candace, and welcome back to another episode of the Inspire You Network. You know, I find it really interesting when you run into people who have the same passion and the same goals that you do in business. I have been fortunate enough to meet this young lady who I have in the studio with me today. Her name is Devin Ford, and she is the founder of Focus Women's Conference. Devin, how are you? Great, how are you? I am wonderful, wonderful. Glad to have you in the studio today. Um, you've got some really interesting information to share with our viewers, so thank you for being here. So what brought you back here from Hollywood? Uh, I came here on a two-month visit, and I was working on a personal project. And while I was here, I went on a date with a guy that I used to know in high school, and we ended up falling in love, and he had a little girl, and I certainly didn't want to take him away from her, so I decided to make Mobile my home again. Okay, all right, and um, obviously you're a photographer, we're in your photography studio. Um, tell us about some of the clients, some of the people that you shoot, or some of the work that you do. I, I currently primarily work with businesses, and I help businesses, you know, basically define themselves uh, and get more clients. So. Okay, okay. So let's talk about Focus Women's Conference. Um, what inspired you to start that? Well, I used to, first I started out as an attendee and then ended up being on the committee for a conference that's just like Focus, um, okay. well, very close to Focus, in West Hollywood, California. And through that conference, I learned about community development. I ended up on the board of directors of the Chamber of Commerce out there. I made such great friends. My daughter is named after a woman I met at that conference. Oh, I still have so many wonderful friends from that. And I learned so much, but I also developed such amazing relationships. Mm -hmm. And when I came back here, since there was not one, I decided to start one. Okay, all right. And how long has Focus been in existence? So we're entering our third year now, Okay. so right. we're really excited. All right. And you've got a really great list of speakers and panelists. Tell us about some of the things that we're going, we're going to be able to um, see at Focus. Well, um, obviously our keynote this year is Elizabeth Smart, mm -hmm. and if you don't know about her, you sh uh, people should go and look her up. She right. was, a, um, was kidnapped, held hostage for nine months, and then rescued. But what is so amazing about her is she never let that affect her life. She's had a full and happy life and as a matter of fact, has become an advocate for women and girls all over the world. And she brings a message of hope and letting nothing stand in your way. Um, but we also have a lot of local amazing speakers um, and our content focuses on professional, personal, and community development so that whether you want to come there and get the skills you need to make more money or if you want to learn how to get engaged in your community or even just work on yourself as a person because we're people first before we are anything else, mm -hmm. um, you can find something that you need. So Okay. And the primary focus is with women. So tell me what your passion is when, when you're helping women. Well, a lot of, I do have in the past done work with um, children, and as you know, like there is a lot of poverty, uh, especially in Alabama, mm -hmm. and women are the most affected by poverty. Mm -hmm. And my grandmother, um, she really like is who, who, she wouldn't have called herself a feminist, but she most certainly was. Um, my grandfather had left them, and they were very poor for a while. She became a businesswoman and pulled herself and my her sons out of poverty. And so I really want to connect women with economic opportunity. But to do that, we also have to like build our squad and develop relationships. Like focus has become what it is because of the relationships that I've developed. Mm -hmm. And even though I am getting the credit a lot of times, like we have had such an amazing committee and it's all been about relationships so many women have made focus possible and so i want people to get the tools and the resources and the relationships that they need to get whatever that is that they need and want out of their life wonderful and um we are absolutely excited about being a part of focus we appreciate you allowing inspire you to be there and be on the red carpet we're looking forward to interviewing some of the speakers and getting some really good information give us the dates and the location and the cost and all of that so that if people want to attend they'll know how to how to do that awesome so it's going to be uh october 4th from eight to five it's a full day of workshops, speakers, panel discussions, networking, a career expo, vendors, and so it's eight to five. And uh, you can get your tickets at focuswc.com. 
and prices are $150 for general admission and then $200 for VIP and platinum VIP is $300 and you get a um, signed book and a photo op with Elizabeth Smart and uh, we really just hope that we see everybody there and we're so excited that you guys are going to be there. We have very similar missions. Yes. I know we said you're our um, tagline turned out to be in your mission statement, which Absolutely. I thought was Absolutely. amazing. Absolutely. Empower, so. encourage, and educate women. Awesome. It's, yeah. And uh, yeah. Great. Well, good. Good. Thank you. Well, thank you so much again for being here. Thank you for everything that you do for the community, for the women in the community. We appreciate that. Um, just looking forward to being at the conference and doing more things together. We're so excited about it, too. Thank you, Devin. We appreciate it. And again, thank you for everything that you do in the community and everything that you're doing for women everywhere. We are really looking forward to just doing great things with you. Well, thank you. All right. Thank you. Well, there you have it. Focus Women's Conference. Please, please, please attend. We're going to have a great time. Stay tuned. We've got more for you. Gulf Coast Cremation and Funerals, now serving the entire Gulf Coast. Your loved one is in our care at all times. Meaningful, appropriate, affordable. 7000 Bellingraph Road, Mobile, Alabama, 251-653-1421. Welcome back to the Inspire You Network. Today we're being joined by Rochelle Johnson. She is the Upward Bound Coordinator here at the University of South Alabama. Rochelle, how are you doing? I'm fine. How are you today? I am doing great. So great. today we're going to talk about Upward Bound. It's a term that a lot of people know about, a program that's been around for years. But Upward Bound has some different things, some components to it. It's not the simple, uh, my mom didn't go to college, so I'm getting Upward Bound, and I'm going to go, and then I'm going to go. It's a lot more entailing into that. So kind of give us a little brief background about what Upward Bound is and how it can help people in the community. Okay, so Upward Bound is a program that was born of the Higher Education Act in 1964. It started as a part of the TRIO programs. There were three programs initially, which have now become eight programs wow. globally. And it started as Educational Talent Search, Upward Bound, and Student Support Services. All of the programs were established for students who qualified as low income and first generation, meaning gotcha. neither parent had obtained a bachelor's degree. They could actually attend um, a community college and obtain an associate's degree, but neither parent had obtained a bachelor's degree. Uh -huh. So the University of South Alabama has held the grant for Upward Bound because it is a Department of Education grant, and we've held the grant since the mid-90s. So we have serviced students since the 90s who qualify, again, as first generation or low income students in Upward Bound. Currently, we serve students out of three high schools. Okay. We work with C.F. Viger, Maddie T. Blunt, and Lily B. Williamson. And students can enter the program as early as ninth grade and stay with us through high school graduation. Now, Upward Bound has been around for some years. I'm not going to date myself or date <laughs> you, but, but I remember a time when Upward Bound was at South Alabama. Uh, at the time, Mobile College, Spring Hill College, even Bishop State. But things have changed now. And you just mentioned Upward Bound has held the charter here. I mean, University of South Alabama has held the charter since the 90s. Um, how has that changed? or Is that a challenge for you? You mentioned only three schools, but there are more high schools in the area. Definitely. It, the challenge is that there are so many qualified young adults in Mobile County School System, Baldwin County School System. But unfortunately, we can only serve 50 students at a time in our program. The challenge, we get the 50 students without 
any problems. But it's unfortunate that we're not able to help more. When there were more, more programs in the city, then each school could have 50 students up to 120 students in their program. Right. Unfortunately, once those programs were no longer in existence, we only get a chance to serve the 50. Now, Upward Bound is a program that goes throughout the year. I know mm -hmm. the kids will come on a Saturday and in the summertime they'll get to stay here on campus. Mm -hmm. Talk about some of the things they can learn. I know there's some fun involved, but also <laughs> there's learning, which is the main component. Uh, talk about the different divisions of learning that the kids pick up or different classes that they will have to enroll in. So there are three different um, tracks, if I could call them, because there are academic year track, there's Saturday session track, and then there's the summer scholar component. So during the academic year, actually our staff goes to the three high schools once a week. Wow. While we're in the high schools, we work with the students on personal goals, test taking skills, study skills, financial planning for teens. Ah. We even offer information to take home to the parents about financial planning for adults, because a financially fit family we may not need services you know in the future it only Correct. takes one to change a generation on the saturdays when the students come to us once a month they come from 8 to 12 and during that session they work on act prep uh -huh. sat prep how to take the sat or the sat test and then i think the component that most people are more familiar with is the summer i know about so that during one. the summer <laughs> our um and i call them our uv summer scholars okay our summer scholars out of the 50 unfortunately all don't attend but we average 30 students a summer which is pretty good they get to move on to the university of south alabama's campus ah. they they are here they have a simulated college experience so they have classes they are able to enter interact with offices on campus. The goal of the Summer Scholars Program, in addition to them getting academics okay. and electives, like this year they're taking robotics and that's ah. really fun, but they also get to interact with college and university officials, our Great. instructors, administration. So the purpose or our goal is that when they actually transition to college, they won't be culture shocked. They know what it's like to live on campus. Makes sense. They know what it's like to go to the business office. Right. They know what it's like to deal with housing and make a request if maybe their air condition isn't working. <laughs> you know, those are things that they can't get from a parent because they didn't have the college right. experience. Right. So our hope is that when they're here and they get it, they won't have to call home scared when they go off to school. I got you. We're yeah. talking with Rochelle Johnson, Upward Bound Coordinator here at the University of South Alabama. Now, with that summer uh, component that goes into effect, someone told me you guys do some traveling. What, what can you say <laughs> about that, Rochelle? I can tell you a lot about our traveling. We travel weekly during the summer component. Okay. So every Thursday, well, our educational summer is also cultural. So every Thursday we take a trip, which is our cultural Thursday trip, it's education and cultural. We will visit a college campus on that day, and then we'll build in maybe a museum visit or an aquarium ah, visit. Okay. Or this summer we had some very interesting trips. Our first, first week we actually went to a, a university, so we did go to Belhaven University, okay. and then we took them to, if you've heard, two Mississippi museums. Yes, in Jackson. Brand new museums yes, in Jackson, Mississippi, yeah. and we spent the day at those museums. Okay. Absolute wonderful experience. The next week we actually took them right here to Dolphin Islands, Saltwater Marsh, and the Sea Lab. That's nice. So yeah. our students who had never been over to the Sea Lab or to the marsh had a chance to search for all kind of little animals mm -hmm. in the marsh and then experience the Sea Lab, followed by a ferry ride over to Fort Morgan. Wow, okay. So those okay. are our Thursday trips. Um, last week we took them across to coastal Alabama to tour coastal okay. and then also to Owa. Nice. And this week we will visit the Ottoman Zoo in New Orleans. Wow, wow. Now, if the students successfully complete the five weeks on campus, then we have a very big trip for them in, at the end, which is our week six, because okay. the total program is six weeks. And while I can't tell you where we're going this week, because it's a big secret, I hold the secrets really dear, right. I can tell you that in the past, we've taken the students to Washington, D.C. for a week, Orlando, uh -huh. Florida for I've, a week, I've heard about those San trips. Antonio, <laughs> um, we, any place that I feel like the students maybe have not visited, right. um, that's where we go. And we go and we have a full week of fun. We visit at least two colleges on those trips as well. Okay. Okay. And 
as many museums as we can get in in one visit. I like that you have the learning component, you have fun, but also doing the fun, you're exposing to culture, exposing the kids to different things. Yes. So the $64,000 question has to be from someone watching. If they're interested, if they qualify, how could they find out more to say get their child involved at Upward Bound? What would they need to do, Rochelle? They really just need to reach out to the counselors at our three target schools. The okay. counselors always have applications for our program on hand. Okay. I will say I'm very grateful for the counselors and the administration at all three of our target schools gotcha. because they are very supportive of the program. We've operated with them for years and even when we transition, you know, or we need new students, they are always there. So they always have applications. If not, they could definitely contact our office and our phone number is 460-7321 or 460-7322 or email me at rwjohnson at southalabama.edu and I'll make sure they get an application. And by the hopes of technology, we'll get that email address put up on the screen for the Please viewers. Please do. No problem. Rochelle, I do appreciate it. I know I'm a little too old to qualify for Upward Bound now, but I uh, wish I could because you guys really have fun, but it's a great learning tool and I appreciate all the hard work and effort that you do. Thank you. Thank you no so problem. much. No problem. All right, there it is, Upward Bound in a nutshell. Stay tuned. More is headed your way from the Inspire You Network. Flower Fantasies Florist and Gifts is a friendly florist. We strive to satisfy our customers for all occasions, birthdays, anniversaries, and personal attention during your time of need. Sympathy Flowers is our passion. Set the stage with beautiful flowers for romantic moments and taking time to smell your flowers. Flower Fantasies Florist and Gifts. Call us, 251-344-2882. feel so comfortable when you're down here. Everything from the services was very professional. They understand what grieving is. And it was so much easier having things done ahead of time. They help you in every way that they can. These things go on through your life and you always have your memories and it's nice that someone else can care about someone else's feelings like that. everyone, it is your girl the Bam. And I'm Eric Javon. And we are here today to talk about prints and oh. plaids. So we had a conversation with you earlier this week and we basically said, mm. how do you put together prints and plaids? How do you do that? So that's why we're here today. And I want to say, Eric, I see you in your prints. Now, whenever you do something and you have on a full print outfit, you want to make sure the prints match. Now, we wouldn't put on any other design or any other print with this floral top because it's so busy. So what you want to do, if it doesn't match exactly, you want to do something solid. Like, like I chose to. for example, you. First of all, before we go any further, where's this from? How, how so cute. So Sandretta Patterson, owner and operator of Fierce Custom Boutique, made this here locally in Mobile. It's, mm -hmm. it's called the Blossom Skirt. And you it's like it? blossoming on yes. you. I love it. So, but I love how you paired your print with just a solid. You pick the color out of the print, which is always easy way to do. Pick one color out of that, pick a solid to go with it, match it head to toe. It's a look. It's a vibe. Go. <laughs> it is a look. You did it. So here are two renditions of a great way to do prints. You ready to show them something else? I think we have something else up our sleeve. All right. Let's see what we have. Be right back. So we all have those moments where we're like, yo, I really want to put on something cool, but not dressy, but still fresh, still fly. And like what do we your have set here? Up. Okay, so this is our play on plaids. As you can see, Air Javon is donning this black and red flannel plaid top, but he also has on camouflage pants. And a lot of people don't even realize camouflage is like a neutral type of print. You can wear it with solids, prints, however you would like. And you know, camouflage is my favorite, right? I was pretty dope. It's uh, my mom's Candace's favorite, too. 
So if anybody wants to buy me a gift, uh -huh. camouflage. Camouflage. Okay, wink, we might wink. have to do a whole episode on how to rock camouflage. And we can do that. Well, you know me. I am your Jordan type of girl, and I love to just go ahead and throw something over around my waist. Because some people may not be comfortable wearing an all-over print or a plaid. So just throwing it around the waist still gives you that little bit of pop, but without doing too much. So you're killing it, girl. Thank you. And as you know, the weather here in Mobile is so emotional. Let's just say Bi it's warm in the daytime, and then it gets a little cool at night. Guess what? Just slide it on. Oh, that's what you're doing? Wardrobe that's change? What doing? On camera, oh. though. You see what's going Ooh. on there? Do you slide feel it? Slide it on. Bam. And so cute. And now your plaid is popping. That's right. It's so with my popping. plaid popping, I guess we ought to give them one more look. What do you think? I think I have one more left for them. Let's go see what we have. You ready? Oh, yeah. Be right back. Voila! <sighs> Black and white is always right. That's what oh, I always yeah. say. I love that. She get a tattoo. You can. <laughs> no. <laughs> so once again, as you can see, we've taken our play on prints and made it work for us. Well, Eric is donning two different types. He has on camouflage and stripe. I went with the solid and the actual checkerboard print. But with Eric, as we've mentioned before, camouflage can be worn with anything. So the black and white stripes, and you could have done this with any color stripes because again, camouflage is a universal type print. And then he did the solid pant. I want to say pant. 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 Are they Makes it sound like a real designer, pants? a real stylist. Pant. He has on the silent distressed pant with a slit above it, the knee. Got a little knee action. <laughs> but it all ties together so well, and he even brought in the brown and the camouflage with his boots. So you see how everything ties together? It all matches, even though the stripes and the boots may not match without the jacket. Once you put it on, it ties it all together, and that's what it's all about. It is. That's mm -hmm. what it's all about. See, look, that's the thing. People think prints and plaids, you know, it's all wild and crazy. No, because they can work for the workplace as well. Absolutely. Because see your skirt. Could have just been a simple skirt. Mm -hmm. But in the cut with that print, it still keeps it classic and fun. So prints and plaid doesn't always have to be doing the most. You can always dial it back just by the classic fit of that print. And you rock it so well. Well, thank you. Thank you. Workplace ready. Ow. Well, we want to thank each and every one of you for tuning in to our Prince and Plaids episode of oh, Inspire You Network. Bogan? And I want to let you know, you must look forward to what we have coming up next, because as you know, we always do it bigger and better. And something up you. our sleeves. So until then, see you next time. Thanks so much for tuning in. Holla. Don't miss the Gulf Coast Challenge featuring the Alabama A&M Bulldog and the Central State Marauder. Saturday, September 28th at Lad People Stadium. Tickets on sale now. The Gulf Coast Challenge. Powered by the Mobile Sports Authority. Prestige Event Center is the place for your dream event. Weddings, concerts, balls, birthday parties, reunions, church events, conferences. Whatever you envision, Prestige will assist in making your dream come true. Each event is created to your custom specifications with the focus on hospitality and budget. Prestige has many designs to choose from in their all new facility. Come by for a tour. Prestige Event Center exceeds all your expectations. Gulf Coast Cremation and Funerals, now serving the entire Gulf Coast. Your loved one is in our care at all times. Meaningful, appropriate, affordable. 7000 Bellingraph Road, Mobile, Alabama, 251-653-1421. Hello everyone, it's Candace, and we are back with another flashback recap and today I have with me Miss Didi Sanogo and Didi is the owner of My Task. She's going to tell us a little bit about what My Task is. Didi, how are you? Hey, how are you doing? Doing good, doing so, good. So glad to see you guys here. Oh, well thank you for having us. It's, it's 
a really great event. You had a really great turnout. Yes. Tell our viewers what my task is. So uh, we're, we're at a point where it's the most revolutional time in human history. Everything is changing so fast. And my task, we hope to help plan, help working families plan in real time, which means they don't have to scramble to do things at the last minute, and that we'll bring those affiliates in so that they can get their trips done, their events done, all in a matter of minutes, and with the community that helped them do it. Okay, and I was listening to the presentation, and what I really like about it is you are a business owner, and there were several business owners here, but it's not just about the business. You're going to help them plan their personal lives, like their vacations yes. and shopping trips and different things like that. How did you come up with that concept? From my own pain. I am a project manager by trade, okay. and I found it very difficult to plan things when I got home. Like, when I left work, I, the last thing I wanted to do was plan. Right. And so if I had uh, something that I liked, I shared. And so for me, you, the more support you have, the better you get. And so my daughter um, recently was diagnosed with celiac disease, and I froze because I didn't know what to do, and I know someone else had the wisdom. And I was thinking, gosh, it would be nice if I just had an action list. I just want to go step by step to figure out how to do this because my baby's sick. Mm -hmm. And when I find that information, of course, I will have a better list for the next person. And that's where it started to born. You know, we're at the crooks where the transition of knowledge is, is great. We have a lot of work to do. And we want to build a platform so that we can keep that knowledge base. Okay. Okay. And then I really like the concept that you used a business shower because yeah. this is actually That's like, so <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like you're you're introducing the yes. business. So instead of a baby shower, you did a business yes. shower. And I really really like that. Now you have how many children? I have three kids. Okay. And yes. you're 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 a working mom, yes. and you have three kids, and you're married. So you're yes. doing the whole life balance a thing. Lot. Tell us about that. Oh my. <laughs> How long do you have? <laughs> uh, well, what I like about my family is that, you know, we are a modern family. My husband and I have to work together. And a lot of my friends have families that are the same way. And so we have, you know, three kids that have three different activities. And that work week is incredibly difficult. Mm -hmm. And so how do we not mess it up all the time? And, you know, you don't want that mama's guilt or that father's yeah. guilt when it's like, oh, I missed the birthday party. I missed the PTA bake sale. I didn't have time to do it. And so the more we recognize what those pains are and the more we can add those items the next time when we have an issue, it wouldn't be so bad. And that's kind of how it started. So, okay. yes. Well, congratulations to you. I Yay. think what you're doing is great. And to Thank be able to you. do it and look as beautiful as yes. you do, just holding it together. <laughs> so we appreciate you having us, and we wish you the best of all of your endeavors. I appreciate what you guys do and the fact that you want to help get people motivated. Absolutely, to absolutely. To go live their dream. Yes, live, live your best life. life. That's, That's right. it. <laughs> well, thank you, Didi. Thank yes, you so much, and we'll you. talk again soon. I'm a hugger. Oh, Sorry. thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you have it. We Miss Didi Sanyogo, if you will, please. Um, she's going to give us some information on her social media. So you can follow us on Instagram, which we love, uh, and Twitter at MyTask, that's M-Y-T-A-A-S-K, also on Facebook. Um, you can also follow me, um, Girl Dee Dee, that's G-U-R-L-D-E-D-E -D -E on Facebook and Instagram, and that's where I share my personal story of what it's like starting a business. So whatever tips I have, I'm sharing with you, and hopefully you can learn from it and grow from it. All right. Well, thank you again.